Hello everyone, welcome to provide a solution given this nice exponential equation which is 9 to power x plus 9 to power x, this is equal to 90, so this is the value of x. Now solution, we have that 9 to power x, okay, plus 9 to power x, this is equal to 90, okay. So as you can see, 9 to power x is common. So that means that we can factor out 9 to power x. So 9 to power x divided by 9 to power x, this is 1. Plus 9 to power x divided by 9 to power x, this is 1. So this is equal to 90. So that means this is 9 to power x multiplying by 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. This is equal to 90. So we divide both signs by 2. Divide both signs by 2. So that we'll have 9 to power x, this is equal to 45. Now, so for the value of x, we introduce the natural logarithm on both sides. So we'll have rog 9 to power x, this is equal to rog 45. Okay, so rog 9 to power x, this is actually in the form of rog 8 to power n, which basically we can express as n rog rog a. Okay, so applying this power root property of logarithm, we'll have rog 9 to power x becomes x rog 9 this is equal to rog 45 so we divide both signs by rog 9 by rog 9 so that means that the value of x is equal to rog 45 divided by rog 9 so let's proceed so we have x is equal to rog 45 divided by rog 9 okay now we can be able to express 45 Okay, 45 can be expressed as 9 multiplied by 5, okay? We can also express this 9 as 3 to power 2. So that means that 45 can be expressed as 3 to power 2 multiplied by 5. So let's substitute this. So we'll have x is equal to rog 3 to power 2 multiplied by 5. So divided by rog 9, which is actually 3 to power 2. Now, rog 3 squared multiplied by 5, this is actually in the form of rog A multiplied by B, which we can express as rog A plus rog rog B. Now, applying this logarithm property, so we'll have x is equal to, this is rog 3 to power 2, okay, divided by rog 3 to power 2 plus rog 5, Divided by rog 3 to power 2. So rog 3 to power 2, applying the power root property, this becomes 2 rog 3. Divided by rog 3 to power 2 still becomes 2 rog 3. Plus rog 5. Divided by rog 3 to power 2 still becomes 2 rog 3. Okay. Now let's simplify here. If you simplify here, we will have x is equal to this is one plus now rock five divided by rock three. This is actually in the form of rock a divided by rock b, which we can express as rock a to base b. Now let's apply this property so that we'll have a half rock five to base three. Now this is the value of x. This is the value of x. Now, let's verify that this value of x actually satisfies the equation as follows. Now, let's verify that this value of x, which is 1 plus a half log 5 to base 3, actually satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we end that 9 to power x plus 9 to power x, this should give us a value of 90. Okay? So, we simplify this further. To 9 to power x this is equal to 45 okay so let's verify that actually 9 to power x should give us a value of 45 so let's substitute the value of x so we have 9 to power 1 plus a half rog 5 to base 3 this should give us a value of 45 now we have that 9 to power 1 plus a half rock 5 to base 3. 
This is actually in the form of 8 to power n plus m, which we can express as 8 to power n multiplied by 8 to power m. Now, applying this indices identity, you find that this is the same thing as 9 to power 1 multiplied by 9 to power half rock 5 to base 3. Okay, this should give us a value of 45. Now, from what we have here, this is 9 to power 1 multiplying by, now we can express 9 basically as 3 to power 2. So this means that this is the same thing as 3 to power 2 multiplying by half rog 5 to base 3. So here we simplify here so that we'll have 3 to power rog 5 to base 3. So 3 to power rog 5 to base 3, this is actually in the form of m to power rog a to base m, which we can express as, as a, okay? So 3 to power, that is 3 to power rog 5 to base 3, this is essentially equal to, to 5. And that means that we have 9 multiplied by 5, this should give us a value of 45. So 9 times 5, this is 45, okay? And that means that the left-hand side is equal to the right-add side, okay? And that affirms that the value of x, which is basically equal to 1 plus a half rock 5 to base 3, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps so that you can get more information so that you can understand. And if it is your first time you come across my videos, please subscribe and like this video see you in the next video bye bye my good people